Hello there. Today I'm making beer bottle party lights. I'm using these old 24 ounce Shinerbach beer bottles. I like the way they look and I didn't want to throw them away because I knew there was some type of project I can use. Party lights. So today I'm using 24 ounce Shinerbach beer bottles. Empty, of course. Zip ties. Electrical tape, old Christmas lights that we don't use anymore, and I'll need 11 other beer bottles. Let me go work on that, I'll be right back. Uh, there was one other item that I didn't mention. Some type of way to mark your count on the lights. Something you can take off easily. I just used some little pieces of masking tape that I marked where the lights were, where I, that I counted on. So for example, one, two, three, four. I wanted four lights in between uh, each bottle. And I also wanted four from the start. So I just put a piece of masking tape on here to mark that. And then I wanted nine lights in the bottle. So I counted uh, nine lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's my ninth light that's going to go in the bottle. So I'm going to mark this one. And that's where my count is going to be for the four additional lights that will be outside the bottle. So in order to get the, get the lights in smoothly, I brought the two pieces of tape together. That way I can easily find the center, the center of the nine light, nine light stretch. And then I just carefully, ensuring I do not break the bulbs, stuff these into the bottle. Okay, after you have all nine of your lights, or however many your count is, after you have them inside the bottle. Now we want to secure the strands with our zip tie. The best way to do is make sure you go around the wires and underneath this lip to help keep the zip tie from sliding off, especially when you decide to hang them. The tail can be cut off later, and the bottle can easily be spun so you can face it in the direction you like. See that? That will hold just right. Now we want to count the strand of lights to the next to the next bottle. We wanted four lights showing, one, two, three, four. Take the masking tape or some, something to mark in between again. Now I need to count my nine lights that are going to be inside the bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And see my my mark. My nine lights. Split them in half so I can start in the middle. And once again, begin gently stuffing the lights into the bottle. Alrighty, I'm back to where I put the zip tie on, leave a little bit of the wires hanging out, wrap the zip tie around the bottle and the wires, make sure you come right underneath this lip right here. You want it tight enough so that the zip tie will not come over that lip. So if you decide to hang them, it'll hold up. You can easily take off your little markers. 
There, there's two of the strand so far. You can come back later on and clean it up and take off the little tails. Now the reason why I have the electrical tape is because the lights in the middles are so bright that it kind of takes away from the effect of the lights inside the bottles. So what I wanted to do was take this electrical tape and cover up these lights in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to take a little bit. Sometimes the lights will be sticking out like that one. Cover up those also. You want to cover them all. Cover all these lights. That way only the lights inside the bottles are shining. Here's a close up. The electrical tape covering the external bulbs. These will be covered also. The zip tie right on the lip. I don't know if you can see that lip. There's a lip on the bottle. The zip tie is right underneath that to hold it up. So that when I decide to hang them outside or in my garage or wherever, they'll hold up. See that? The tails of the zip ties can be cleaned up easily by snipping them off. There you go. There it is. I used 10 bottles instead of 12. Here they are flashing. Some demons, and they weigh heavy 